Hi guys, I'm back again and I just want to share another little short little message. One of my, um, what I call, little golden gems. Because I believe that as Christians out there, or you might not even be a Christian, but you know what, you need a little bit of um, encouragement like I did when I was first saved. I needed so much encouragement because, thinking heck mate, I didn't understand what was going on. And I tell you right now, that's what I want to do here today. I would love to share with you some of the things that have taken place in my life. And, um, and so this is this week's little gem. And uh, I'm hoping and praying that you'll take notice over the next several minutes and uh, listen to what I've got to say. You might have seen at the start of the program some uh, videos or a couple of pictures of our race bike. Now, um, Tribe of Judah Motorcycle Ministries, I decided that I would do similar to what Ben Priest was doing over there in the States. And Ben Priest had built this incredible uh, Nitro Harley, um, <clears throat> and um, he was pulling about six seconds, 6.2 seconds down a quarter mile uh, in America this was, and uh, he, I think he held the, which was over 200 mile an hour, and he held the uh, world champion uh, ship for I think it was around two years, something like that. Anyway, what took place is that we decided we'd do the same. So I, uh, I looked at um, uh, getting a bike, finding out how much, boy, they're expensive. So I thought, well, you know, we'd buy just a second hand one and, uh, and try and do it up at that. You know, Les, little Les Gillibrand was uh, gonna be my pilot, what they call a pilot, and not just that though, Les was very good at mechanical stuff. So we got all the gear together and, and, uh, and it was pretty massive. And in, in future um, shows, I might, uh, or in future talks, I might show you some of the uh, incredible equipment that we had. Like God blessed us with a big 40 foot uh, Dennings coach, tag axle coach, big twin stacks, uh, stacks out the back. Had tribe of Judah and Jesus is Lord, big black one, it was beautiful. We had, um, we had uh, looked around, so we've ended up getting a second hand bike from a man named Joe, Joe Edmonds. Now Joe was a typical, uh, normal, you know, Harley guy. And uh, we went over to, and I think we paid like 10 grand or something for this second hand Harley Davidson that we were happy with. We knew we had to do it all up and do the, do the gear with it. So, you know, Les and I picked the, picked the bike up, took it back to our workshop and we started working on this thing, you know, to promote Jesus down the, down the racetrack. You know, I used to go down there and I'd see Jack Daniels racing, you know, on these huge B-dubs and stuff like that, big trucks. And I thought, why can't we do it in the Lord? Why can't we have Jesus is Lord, you know? And anyway, so that's what we decided to do and that's what we'd have done. And, um, and the funny part about it is when I paid Joe for the bike, he turned around and said to me, he's got me money now. And he said, you know, you, you guys have no idea what you're doing. You won't even get this thing down one half of the track, you know? And I said, well, you know, well, I believe it. Well, he said, I'll bet you a thousand dollars $1,000 that you'll not even get it down to half the track. I said, fair enough. You know, uh, I'm not a betting man, but I thought, you know, why not? Just just to uh, keep him happy, that'd be cool. So that's what we did. We made that agreement and we started to build that bike. Well, we did build that bike. We built that little bike. Uh, we ran it on 98% pure nitro. Uh, I'll show you a picture of both. And um, we had a, a small team of uh, guys that would go down to the racetrack, you know, when we raced it. And we started doing some real good. Now, one weekend there, uh, there was one of Australia's fastest Harley Davidsons there. He just, uh, he just hit over the 200 mile an hour mark. And uh, his name was Jeff. We started racing off one little bit at a time. And believe it or not, we kept winning. We kept banging them down one after the other. And we had a little 114 cube uh, nitro Harley running on, like I said, 98% pure nitro. Um, and, uh, and all the other bigger bikes were like 175, 180, or say 175 cube, I think was the biggest down there. And they were fast bikes. But we would pray, every time I went out there, I'd pray Psalms 91, that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I would go right through that whole Psalm over Les, over the whole team to make sure that we're all protected when we go out there racing and that we'd have no accidents and that God would give us favour. Psalms 5.12 says, I'll encompass you with a shield of favour. Favour shall surround you. 
So I'd call that in. Anyway, we go out there and bang, yeah, we're winning, we're winning. One, one, bang, bang. It was Channel 7 were down there this day. Um, it was the uh, big winner Nats at the time. Um, and uh, even though we weren't, uh, well, we had to work our way up, you know, get right up there. We kept winning, one after the other. And um, we beat, actually, there was an outlaw group there from uh, another state. And they had, I think, uh, three 175 cubes, sorry, Harley Davisons, each, I think there was three of them. And um, they were all nitro bikes and they were racing. And guess what? We came up against each and every one of them and we won. We beat every one of them. And then we beat the man that done, that was Jeff, who'd done the over 200 mile an hour. We beat his bike. He got really, really upset. He said, I want to race her again, you know, and we beat him again. And so we were just praising the Lord. And um, our little bike only done 175 mile an hour. It was around about seven and a half seconds to the quarter mile. This is the very first one we built. But, but you know what? We had God's favor with us and we won every race. Now, this is what took place. On the Friday night, because we'd beaten uh, three outlaw bikes, um, you know, one percenters, and they were pretty upset. <clears throat> and we were only, we were allowed, to, we're the only ones allowed to wear our back patch. Now, one thing I did on the bike is I never had any other uh, advertising on it. So knowing that one day that that might happen, you know, we didn't have BPs or anything like that. It was just simply Tribe of Judah. And then what happened as they came up to us, we won every race on the Friday night. There was about 30,000 people there. Channel 7 was there <clears throat> doing the uh, winning ads. And uh, we go out in the line, we blow the bike out, and we're ready to start it up to go on to race the next race. And one of the officials, the Andrew official, walks up to me and says, uh, Terry, you've got to cover that patch up. I said, what are you talking about? And uh, so we were the only ones allowed to wear with our uh, Tribe of Judah patch on the back. And, and I said, that's, that's our patch, yeah, but that's also my avatar. That's my uh, sponsor. I said, have a look at all the other bikes. They've got sponsors and they've got their sponsor on their backs. <clears throat> and, and they said, yeah, but someone's complained that, you know, they're not allowed to wear their patch and you shouldn't have a patch. I said, mate, if you don't let us race with, he said, can't you just put a black jumper over it? I said, no, I won't do that. So the next thing is, I said to the boys, let's go home, we're going home. He said, you can't do that, you're on the line now and there's like 30,000 people. I said, we're going home. Well, he did not come down here just to win races. We come down here to promote Jesus Christ. So I told the boys, let's get the bike and go. And uh, they're all looking at me like cross-eyed and it was a very, very hot night. And um, they all said, Terry, what are you doing? We, you know, we can't just cover the patch. I said, we're not covering no patch. We're not doing that. We're gonna race with the patch or we're going home. And I said, get the bike, stick it in the back of the uh, trailer and we'll go home in the coach. So what happened, <clears throat> I go over, they get the bike, they tow it back with a four wheeler and they start packing everything up. And I'm just in my coach and I'm walking up and down inside the coach and I'm praying. Lord, your word says in 2 Corinthians 2.14 that you'll always cause me to triumph. Your word says, Lord, in, in uh, I just kept going through the scriptures, you know, that no weapon formed against me will prosper. And um, I said, a weapon is formed, but it can't prosper. It's in the end of Psalms 91. And so I just kept claiming hold of the promise, especially 2 Corinthians 2.14. And, uh, and I'm just walking up and down the air-conditioned coach inside, just praying while the boys are starting to stack everything away. And I get this knock on the door. And I opened the door and it's three Andrew officials. And they said to me, uh, look, can you prove that this is your bike? You know, that you're a church. And I said, of course I can, but not tonight. I can only do it in the morning. They said, look, all right, we're gonna allow you to, to race again. And I said, with my patch on? He said, yes, with the patch. So we took it out there. Now, here's the funny part. We go out to the line again. There's 30 odd thousand people watching. They're all cheering on by the tribe because we hadn't lost the race. And, uh, and the funny part about it was, is the next man that I had to race, or we had to race, was Joe Edmonds. He's the guy that sold me the bike. He's the guy, I mean, I don't make this up, this is just the way it all happened. And he's the same guy that turned around and, and went right against us, because we were Christians, and laughed at us, and called us pedophiles, and all those sort of things. Like, unbelievable stuff. And we just kept being nice to him. 
Well, we're up against him. We're gonna race, you know, race this man himself. And um, so, you know, we get the, we blow the both bikes out, put them on the line, and the lights go green, and bang, we go away, and guess what? We won, praise the Lord. Let me tell you something. If you keep claiming God's word, I can't go through it. We haven't got the moment, the time to tell you exactly every little tiny detail it went. But praise God, that's what will happen if you keep claiming God's word when you're going through drama. If you don't compromise in the way that when that devil will try and get you to turn around, go the other way, just say no in Jesus' name. You know what the word of God says, that heaven will be taken by force. And that's what it means. It's, it's, it's grabbing hold of God's word and holding on to it until it comes to pass. Whatever you're going through this moment right now, be encouraged because you're about to break through. As long as you don't give up and you don't quit, and it's like I always say to everybody, if you don't quit, you win. Praise the Lord. Amen.